art makers out there. I'm here today with a really fun recycled project. We're gonna start with newsprint and we'll make these beautiful flowers like the one I'm wearing here. And there are these as well. I don't know if you can really get a good look at them, but I just think they're gorgeous. To create your hand painted paper, which is the basis of all of these flowers we will make, you will first need old newspaper, and a paintbrush and some kind of color. So you could use liquid watercolor or food coloring or an ordinary watercolor palette. Step one in this project is to paint our newsprint. And you really wanna cover the whole thing with color if you can. I've got a bunch of different kinds of colors and let's get started. I have a big flat brush too. So there's sort of no right or wrong way to do this. I'm gonna load up my brush and see if I can start spreading the color like really all over. I hope you can see that. Um, and the idea is we're going to use this hand painted newsprint to make our own recycled paper flowers. And I thought it could be a really nice thing that you could give to someone else like someone in your family, maybe your mom or your dad or your brother or your sister. But I'm also wondering about other people you know, like neighbors, people on your street, grandparents. The sky's the limit. But so you can see how I'm really trying to cover the whole thing and not leave very much white. If you have something like food coloring at home too, it can be kind of fun to squirt it on and then paint it. Ooh, that's super bright and interesting. All right, so that's step one, hand paint your newsprint. And the cool thing is because it's such thin paper, it will dry really, really fast. And then you can go on to step two. If this is too messy to do inside your house, um, take it outside. I think this is a great backyard project on a beautiful day. Um, so that's step one and step two, coming right up. Once your beautiful hand painted newsprint is dried, you'll want to gather a few more supplies. So you'll need a glue stick and maybe a stapler, but definitely a Sharpie or marker, scissors, and some kind of stick. I had these barbecue skewers at my house, but you could also use just a stick from outdoors that you found. To make a flower like the one I'm wearing, we're gonna take some of our dried, excellent hand painted newsprint and make some flower shapes. So this one is just kind of a big scallop. So I might do something similar again. I think rounded shapes could be interesting here and so could spiky shapes more kind of like a sun or a star. So here I go. I'm gonna start like this. So I've got kind of this wobbly organic shape happening. So I'm gonna put that to the side. That's gonna be kind of the back part of the flower. And with each next part of the flower, you want it to be a little bit smaller, 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 so that you can see it on this big shape. So then maybe I'll draw something like this. Ooh, that's gonna be really hard to cut out, but we'll see. Something like that. And then, you know, I do like this idea of like the little round doodad in the middle. So maybe I'll do that too. Do a round one like this. So those are my shapes to begin with. And now I'm gonna cut them out. Here we go. pieces cut out and I did three layers but you could do much more and maybe even I'm imagining something big behind this so this is where the stapler or the glue stick comes in handy I kind of like the stapler because it's instant you don't have to wait for it to dry so I'm gonna line everything up and then staple it and that is another beautiful paper flower I kind of like to fluff up or crunch up the edges too so it doesn't look kind of so perfect and that looks a little more like a flower. And that's something you could give to someone or give to yourself or put on the wall or put in a card. It's kind of, they're kind of excellent. I'm back with another flower project. This one's a little more complicated, so it's probably best for older friends, but I just love the way that these flowers look. You can make a whole bouquet of them. So to start, you need to cut out a rectangle of your painted paper, and it should be on the larger side and it definitely should be long in one direction. You wanna fold it over like such, 
And then you're going to take your glue stick and glue down that part. So it's gonna look like this. You glue it at that edge, fold it over, press, 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 and then you have this. It's kind of like a tube thing. So again, you don't wanna flatten this side. You wanna leave it curvy because that makes the little petals look more realistic. So now I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut on the curvy edge, starting like this. Okay, so now I'm cutting and I'm just making snips, but I'm not going all the way through. I'm leaving a little bit of space so the paper is still connected. And you'll see why that's important in a minute. So cutting, cutting, there's again, kind of no right or wrong way to do this. Just do your best. All right, so now I have this strip of paper that looks like this. I also have a skewer that I had in my kitchen. You could also get a stick from outdoors. It doesn't really matter. So it will be the stem of the flower, by the way. Um, so now you take your paper that looks like this and you put glue on that flattened edge, just on one side, like this. So it's a gluey, gluey, gluey side. And then you take your stick Ooh. and you place it on the gluey part and you start to roll it up and you want to roll it pretty tightly. And as you make more of these, you'll get better at it. The first one I made was a little bit, I don't know, not exactly what I wanted, but I've gotten better at it as I go. So I'm still rolling and rolling and rolling and rolling and trying to keep this tight, but it gets a little bit lumpy and that's totally fine. So then, ah, cool moment. So I'm kind of pressing and pressing and then you can fluff up that part and then you have this totally cool floral decoration. I think I'm going to add it to my bouquet. Hey, happy spring you guys. More art soon from me to you. Love and hugs. Bye.